it is January 5th, 2020, and I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and a great new year. I turned 17 over break, and tomorrow I'll be going back and working hard at school in my second semester as a high school junior. Today's video is about my college search and the things I'll take into account because I have CP. So like, share, subscribe, and because it's the beginning of a new year, leave me a comment and tell me how your resolution has done so far. So the number one question that everybody wants to know when you're in high school, where do I want to go and what do I want to major in? Spoiler alert, my top choice right now is Auburn University. I've researched the school and visited the campus, and Auburn has pretty much all of the things in my list of criteria. Let's start with what I'm looking for at college. Obviously, accessibility is important. My mom and I have studied Auburn's campus facilities. By law, the campus has to be wheelchair accessible, but it's important to me that they are also wheelchair friendly. What about the dorms? Will I be near other humans in a room with a roommate, or will I be alone across the building from everyone? Having a room I can get to easily won't mean much if I'm isolated from everyone else in the dorm. At Auburn, there are accessible rooms in all of the dorms, and the roommate situation depends on what I want. Some disability dorms have the option of a roommate, some don't. The Office of Accessibility works with students on their placements. Another side of accessibility is obvious. How am I going to get to my classes? That issue has actually bothered me a lot, and it's not just an issue at college. Even at my current high school, when I get my schedule, I have to look and break down if any of my classes that are in the same block are on the same floor. My high school only has two stories and it's pretty tiny, but I have four minutes to get to class. And if I have to go across the school and upstairs, I'll be cutting it a little close. Sometimes I am late to those classes, but my teachers know I can't help it. Similarly, when I'm looking at colleges, I've thought about how spread out my classes are and how far away they are from my dorm. I used to think that I wanted to go to a small college because of the ease of getting around, but even small colleges have multiple buildings, and many of them have few or no transportation op options. Auburn has Tiger Transit, an on-campus bus system for all students and faculty, and night security shuttle on campus as well. But one of my favorite things about Auburn is something they have called Jaunt for people with disabilities. J, capital A, capital U, and T. Get it? AU, Auburn? Jaunt is a golf cart system where they can pick me up anywhere and drive me right up to the front door of my classes. Jaunt is free, and at the beginning of the year, I can meet with them, give them my schedule, and tell them when and where I'll need to be picked up each day. There's another reason I'm considering a large university over a small college. I have no idea what I want to major in, and a large university would give me a lot more options. I have so many different interests, and they're kind of spread out over different areas of expertise. I like STEM, and I'd say I'm pretty good at STEM. I really want to work in something involving people, and despite being an introvert, I am an empath, which means I'm very perceptive of what people are feeling, and I really like helping people not feel sad, which can cover a wide range of majors. But I think I can rule out being a doctor, because doctors don't have a lot of time to talk to their patients one-on-one. -on -one. That's usually the nurse's job. At one point, I was determined that I was going to be a surgeon, because I'm not squeamish at all, and blood and guts don't really bother me, but my fine motor skills aren't exactly top-notch. So, I don't think that's very likely. And fun fact, my highest two scores on the ACT exam are science and English. So even though I'm definitely really good at STEM, I really like writing too. I write a lot of fantasy and sci-fi, but nonfiction really isn't my cup of tea, so I don't think journalism would be a good fit. If I decide to pursue writing, I would probably minor in creative writing and major in something else, because right now, writing isn't enough to keep food in my fridge because I'm not published. Because I don't know what I want to major in yet, I want to be able to explore and figure out what I want to do when I get there. Auburn, though you can't be undecided, has an exploratory major. Most students who choose the exploratory major only stand for a semester, but some complete a full year. The exploratory major gives students who aren't sure what they want to do an opportunity to figure some things out and decide, but without wasting credits that won't transfer to the major that they end up choosing. You may be thinking that there are a lot of large universities that meet the criteria I've already talked about, and you might be right. But here's one more thing. I don't want to go too far from home. 
I've always been really close to my parents and my brother, and I don't want to live way far away where I can't drive home to visit them on the weekend if I want. It doesn't have anything to do with my CP, but it's important to me, so that requirement eliminates all of the schools outside of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida, and a lot of the schools even in those states. The last big thing I look at is if that college has a swim team. I'm still doing some research about how para-swimming fits into all of this because there aren't really any colleges anywhere that have a para-swimming specific team. And most college varsity teams, you have to be fast enough to actually earn points, which I can't do. I've thought about either joining a club team or approaching a varsity about being an exhibition swimmer on a team because I'm really fast for a para swimmer and I want to continue training. And who knows, maybe I'll be at the 2024 Paralympics in Paris. Those are the things I wanted to share because I know people have had a lot of questions about how my college hunting experience is different than everyone else's. If you have any more questions or think I missed something, send in a comment. I love reading everybody's comments. It's my favorite part about having a channel, so keep them coming. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe so my channel can grow. See you later. Bye!